Well, let me just ask you this. Suppose that tomorrow you saw in calls for proposals an opportunity to do research in your area mm -hmm. in some country you'd never worked in before. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looked as if this grant was sort of had your name on it. Mm -hmm. Very likely that if you wrote the proposal, you'd get the grant, you'd be able to do the work. Given your experience in Botswana, would your preparation be different? Or is it just necessary that the grant get rewritten on the ground? I mean, I think I'm I'm fortunate in the sense that uh, I'm a full professor. My uh, I don't have to bring in lots of grants mm -hmm. to maintain my position. Mm -hmm. So for me, getting grant money doesn't really d drive me to mm. research in one place or another. I think it's often about what are the interesting questions. So, you know, would I go work in a country that I'd never worked in before? Yes, if I thought there were interesting uh, comparative possibilities. Mm -hmm. You know, it could, could this be compared to a place I had worked before, or do I have some novel insight to offer? Um, but, and, and I, truth be told, I knew this before Botswana. It, it, I think when you begin work in a new place, there's, there's a greater recognition that you're probably going to see things that you didn't anticipate, you know, quite different than a place you'd been working for several years. Mm -hmm. So, um, probably a greater expectation that you might have to be flexible or, 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 mm -hmm. or make some shifts. And I think most funders or grant review committees are, you know, it's evident in your proposal and your experience whether or not you've spent a lot of time there. Um, so, you know, if they chose to give you the money, it's because they probably think you have some novel insight or, or approach to offer. 